My slide was about the difference between imperfect and preterite tense, and I'll be explaining that. So there are two past tenses in the Spanish language, and there's the imperfect and the preterite. The preterite, like I said in my example, has an, an exact or implied beginning and end. So in my sentence, I said, lanky kong, by low, para tres horas. So that means um, Lanky Kong danced for three hours. So that has an implied beginning and end time for how long he danced. But then in Imperfect, where I say Lanky Kong hablaba espanol. Now that is more of Lanky Kong spoke Spanish, but you don't know for how long or when he started speaking Spanish or when he ended speaking Spanish. It, all you know is that he spoke Spanish. So that's the imperfect tense being used there because it's kind of an imperfect situation, a good way to remember it.